The gestation of the Alfa Romeo Giulia has been as complicated as the plot line of an Italian telenovela, with its development, or seeming lack thereof, occurring in parallel with Alfa's ambition to return to the United States. It has been a decade since then Fiat CEO Sergio Martian first promised to bring the Italian brand back here, with Fiat's merger with Chrysler in 2009 offering an obvious shortcut to making it happen. The original plan was for the Giulia to use the same corporate compact wine platform as the Dodge Dart and the Chrysler 200, fortunately, this was nixed, and Alfa instead developed a new rear-wheel drive platform mostly by itself. The production Giulia made its debut in mid-2015, and the car finally will reach the US late this year as a 2017 model. But before that happens, the journalists must have their turn, and we've just driven several Giulias at a launch event held both on and near FCA's vast test track at Bolocco in Italy. While most of the powertrains we drove had no relevance to the U.S.A 2.1 liter turbo diesel, for example, the Quadrifoglio and its 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V6 and BMW M3 beating 505 horsepower are of definite import to Americans. Non Quadrifoglio US spec Giulias will be powered by a 276 horsepower turbocharged four cylinder engine, but none were on hand at the event. <laughs>